Hi guys, so welcome back to another tutorial. So in today's tutorial, we're going to talk about how to create meta UI in your uh, Unity game project. Right, so a quick introduction is that uh, meta UI right, itself is a non dichotic UI. Okay, so basically it's uh, not what, if you are the player inside the game, it's, it's something that you don't see. Uh, okay. So moving in very quickly. Mm, okay, so in today's right, we're going to cover a bit of like, what exactly, uh, how to recreate the assets in Photoshop. So this is uh, just a quick and a rough tutorial in Photoshop. And as well as how to put all these assets that we have created into Unity and integrating them to into our existing game player. So what about Meta UI itself is that it is, as mentioned earlier, right, it's a non dichotic UI. So it's a form of way to let players know what's happening. Like, you know, either you take hit or you're getting damage or your health is low. In a way, right, it's immersive whereby you don't show people, you don't show the player, right, uh, your health is 10 left. You know, you don't show a physical data. Okay, so you show in a in a visual representation in a subtle manner. Okay, so some of this meta UI that you can see from here, right, is like, you know, if let's say you got hit and your health is low, right, you can have kind of like a blood splatter effects or likewise similar with this uh, screenshot here is that uh, you have damage around, okay? And like for racing games, right, you have like things like raindrops, okay? So all these are kind of a way of dichotic UI whereby you can know that, okay, you're driving in the rain and this is like you're getting hit and maybe your, le your health is low and so on. So it's in a way, right, you don't show people like, uh, you know, how much health is left and stuff. Instead, you show that in a visual way, subtly, yeah. Okay, moving on, how do we create the assets in, uh, in Photoshop? So it's just some simple tricks. Okay, we're not going to go into very realistic and stuff. So basically what we're going to try to do here is to use a few things. Uh, one is to erase off and as well as to use a special brush to create some splatter effects. Okay, so let's dive into Photoshop. Right, so very first thing, right, you want to create new, you can press Ctrl N for new. Then for us, we want to have 1920 by 1080. Okay, so this is the typical screen size of uh, the game these days. Okay, so after you have created, right, first thing first, right, we want to create another additional layer. Okay, and we want to choose a uh, red color. And we can use a few bucket. Okay, and we can just drop it. Okay, so from here, right, then we can actually, uh, we can set the opacity to maybe, let's say, about maybe 75%. Right, and we can use an eraser tool, okay, to erase off. So you can set, set your brush size to something that is like, you know, round and soft, okay, and you can just set the size and stuff. And opacity and stuff, we're gonna keep at 65, then we can start to erase them away, okay. So up to you how you want to erase, how intense you want and stuff. You can create different layers for different intensity, okay. But this is kind of like an idea that how to get these effects. Okay, so this is kind of like the very first method, which is pretty quick and simple. Okay, so normally, right, you can also stack with other effects and stuff. So another one that we can try is to create using brush. Okay, so for brushes, right, we want to use uh, maybe a slightly different brush. Maybe you can try this brush. Okay, so kind of like tight, we want to make it like broader. Okay. And maybe we want it to be more subtle. Okay, so you can just tap along. Tap, 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 tap. So just click lightly. So places that you want more, you can create more. Okay, you can also adjust the flow to reduce it so that you can kind of like drag across. Okay, if not, you can just use the dabbing method as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a quick and rough one. Uh, you know, if you have the time, then I mean, when you have the time, you can do like slowly and uh, how say nicely, yeah. Okay, so you can have different levels, lah. So maybe for the first, first, uh, you know, first few hits, right? You want to just have, you know, just a bit going on. Then follow on, you can stack and stack. So as you get more damage, right, your screen get more and more red. And after which, right, let's say you're happy, right? You can just use Control Shift S. Control alternate shift, control alternate and shift, then S. Okay, so this will save for web. Make sure you save uh, in a PNG. Okay, then after that, it's just save. Okay, so I'm not going to save this because I have pre created some uh, beforehand, right? Which is here that we'll use later. 
Okay, so this is kind of like how we create simple meta UI asset in Photoshop very like quickly and uh, you know very quickly lah, basically. Okay, so moving on, uh, how do we get this into Unity? So this is kind of the part where I need to code, you know, uh, and, and it takes a bit of like joining stuff together and things like that. So basically, right, we kind of create a game object inside the HUD because it's a form of uh, UI, okay, HUD. And we're going to create a script that has an image component as well as a, a different level of image. So kind of like if uh, my health is at 50%, I will show maybe slight slightly red and if my health is like less with 10 i'm gonna show like very red kind of like this image below okay so we can use the take advantage of the health variable that's already existed in the game manager okay to control the damage if effect script okay so we can let's try this very quickly okay so first thing first uh, i created a scene okay this is a very simple scene with uh, some enemies that's gonna spawn uh, the very first thing that I want to do, right, is basically to bring in my assets, which I have uh, done in Photoshop. So I'll just drag it over very quickly. And the very first thing I like to do is to make that into a sprite. Uh. So we can just switch to sprite and apply. Okay. After which, right, we want to create a game object under our HUD object. Okay. So this is kind of, we have to wait. Okay, so we'll create the HUI, uh, the UI, the objects uh, once this is finished loading. All right, so in HUD, right, we can create another UI. We just call it uh, image. Okay, so for this image, right, we're going to cover the whole screen. Okay, so we're going to set, uh, let's just set 920 by 1080. Okay, and because this is kind of like bigger than what our screen is, we're gonna then like try to scale it down. So about 0.65. So we're gonna make a nice number. Oops, 0.65 is too small. Uh, how about 0 0.66? 67. Okay, so we use 0 0.67 then. Okay, so after we have got 0 0.67, you can put it in your first image. Okay, just to have a few of how, how it will look like, but we'll disable it later on. Okay, so we're going to just call it damage. Okay, let's just call it damage effects. And we're going to create a script for this. So we are, we are actually going to toggle between different images, uh, you know, in the game later on. So we kind of got to do this toggle using a script. So we can create a script called damage effect. Okay. Gonna fire up the damage effect script. Right, so the very first thing first, right, we want to get a reference. So we want to create a reference for our image component. So we're gonna do a private. Okay, so because we have to include our UI namespace. Okay. So this is to control this image component over here. Okay. Then after that, we're going to get the reference. Okay. And also, right, we need to get in the three different images uh, of the effects. Ah. Mm, I think we can use sprite. Okay, so damage. Let's call it damage one. Two and three. Okay. So once the script generate uh updated, we'll drag our images over. Okay, so once we have got the three image, right, the next thing we want to do uh is to change the image. Okay, what we can do is we can use uh image source. Okay, we can use sprite. Say damage two. Okay, let's just go straight damage three so we can see the difference. So when we run, we should just right away three see that our screen uses the damage tree. Okay, so now it's the third damage level. Okay, so with that done, right? We what we can do uh, is to change the image to depending on our health, we'll change the uh, image. Huh? 
So let's create a public function. So this function will be called by our game manager later on. Uh, let's say update public void. Let's say damage UI. Uh. Okay. Then, so for this, we're gonna take in a parameter health. Uh, I think it's okay. We we'll might need to change this to float if it's a float. Okay. So then we're gonna have a con if condition to say if the health is anything lesser than fifty. Okay, then we'll display sprite image damage one. Okay, so else if oops. okay health is anything that is lower than maybe say thirty, we'll show image two, and if health is anything lesser than ten, or maybe say twenty. Right, so fifty and below. Okay, like fifty equal. 30 and below, okay, <coughs> or 10 and below, then we'll show image 3, damage 3, okay. So kind of like in uh, later we'll use our game manager to call this function, pass in the health, and the, this, script, this portion of the script will determine the uh, which image to use, okay, to represent the health left. Okay, so let's head over to our game manager. So the very first thing, right, our game manager will need to have need to have reference to our damage effects object and then the script. Okay, so let's create a variable, public variable. Call maybe damage. Okay, damage effects. Okay. So we're gonna drag damage effects into our game manager script. Okay, just okay. So pardon the previous one because uh, I was doing some testing previously. So let's bring our damage effects object over to our game manager. Oops, wrong. Okay, so it's game object, not game manager. All right. So we're gonna bring that in once it's updated. Okay, let's go. Okay. So now that we have reference to our damage effects game object, okay. Every time we update our health, we want to update our damage effects as well. So under our health update function, right, apart from just updating our text box, we also want to update our uh, <clears throat> our damage health effects. Ah. Just a minute. Let's change this. Okay, lah, let's lift it as it is. Okay, let's just make this into a small d. Okay. Because if not, the uh, it's the same name as the class. Okay, so basically this line right is uh telling the damage effects game object to get the component script damage effects and then call the function update damage UI and lastly passing in the health variable. So once this site receives the health variable, okay, then it will update all the images accordingly. Okay, another thing that we may want to do is to disable the effects when the game started. Uh Okay, and every time when we want to change, then we will enable it again. Okay. Right. So that's kind of it. Let's uh, give it a test. Okay, let's check the error. Oops, let's try again because we changed the name of it. Okay, so wait for it to come. So let's get damage up to 50. Okay, so this is uh, 50 health. So when I reach 30, 
Okay, so it's not updating. So we will look into the logic again. Okay, so we want to flip it over. So we want to do from 10 uh, to 50 instead. Okay, so likewise, we need to change the damage. Okay, because if not, every time the first condition will always be true. That's why it will never go on. So that's 40, okay, 30, so it's get more, and 20, 10, right. So I get more and more damages. Okay, so likewise, I can take health pickup to undo. Okay, so once it's like kind of like the other way, uh, we can fix it as well. So you can add an else. I'm gonna disable these uh, effects. Okay, so basically, if less than 10, we'll use this 20, 30. So, but when we're going up, right, when once our health is more than 50, okay, we'll just disable the image component. Okay, which is kind of like, uh, okay, which is actually this guy and this image component. So, we'll just disable it when our health is anything above 50. Okay, but if not, before the game starts, we have to set it to true. So that uh, in our start function, we can then get the reference to it. Okay, if not, we will not be able to get the reference. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Okay, right. So that's kind of pretty much it. Okay. So that's kind of how you integrate a uh, meta UI to your game, existing game. Okay. Let's see if I have got anything else, which I don't think I do. Right. So that's it. That's the end. And good luck and make cool UI. Yeah. <laughs>